Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to install Ubuntu on our Android phone. So let's begin. So this is my Android phone, uh, like Android tab Samsung Galaxy A8. I have connected. So before starting that, we have to install a few things. First thing is going to be Termax. So you can uh, go to this link. I will provide the link in description. And from here, uh, you can install the uh, Termax. Okay, once uh, done, you have done that, then uh, you have to install nlinux so if you go to play store and type any linux or nlinux you will find this and you have to install this once uh, this is done the third thing you have to install uh, that is real vnc so if you search real vnc uh, you have to open this and install this once all the, all these things are installed uh, all you have to do is open your any linux app go to dashboard and from here you have to choose the distro which you want to install so for this tutorial we are going to use ubuntu and click ok then you have to just copy this thing just copy it and if you go to termax click on allow let me just zoom it and paste it so I am making this video as raw as possible so we can figure out all the errors all together. Okay. So it will ask, uh, ask for pre permissions. You can keep everything as default only. Just click enter. And whenever it, it asks for any permission, just click enter it. Uh, you can leave everything as default. So now uh, our Ubuntu uh, is installed. So you can start it just by typing start slash and start ubuntu.sh. You will go to the, uh, means you will be able to start the Ubuntu in uh, this terminal mode. Now, if you want to install graphical user interface, uh, you have to again go to our previous app. Uh, that's any Linux and go here and go to desktop environment you have to choose our is ubuntu okay and then choose the first option okay then again you have to copy the command and just paste it here so it will take some time to install so i will fast forward uh, this video till then Now we have to select our computer layout. So mine would be Indian. I think uh, we'll see. 49 is Indian. So just keep clicking enter, enter until it asks for choice. So I will enter 49 for Indian. Now um, I want to use the Indian keyboard only. So I will give the choice as one again and uh, just enter 10. Alt plus cap lock. I want to use this uh, to switch between keyboards. Um, so everything is set up. It took almost 15 minutes for me to set up everything. Um, so now um, it has also installed the VNC server and it's setting it up. Uh, we have to set up one password for our VNC server. So to uh, I will set it as one two three four five six seven eight only. And hit enter again and again enter and here you can select as no okay so now our uh, vnc server is running now you have to uh, uh, there would be one ip provided here if you just scroll up that is 127.0.0.1 and port number you have to copy this ip ip and uh, uh, go to our vnc viewer Now click on this add button here, enter your IP and uh, I have to name it just Ubuntu and click on create. And now click on connect. 
once you click on connect it will ask for your password so let's enter one two three four five six seven eight which we entered there and click on continue uh, you can see ubuntu is successfully running on our android phone uh, so that's all for this video uh, i hope you like it if you like it you can hit that like button if you don't and have any suggestions you can comment them below in upcoming videos um, i'm going to install kali linux and other distros also in our android so you can subscribe for that thank you bye